The battle to stop dog fighting rings across the country has a Pittsburgh connection. Kim Gable spent some time tonight with five dogs rescued in a huge FBI raid there here in Pittsburgh to be rehabilitated, right, Kim? That's right. They need a couple of weeks of rehab and observation. Then it's off to new homes. Five dogs rescued after a very highly specialized operation by the FBI and the Humane Society of the United States. It's actually the second largest bust in that organization's history. Now take a look at how our local Animal Rescue League is involved in all of this. You're beautiful. They're hundreds of miles from their original homes, far away from the brutal abuse they experienced since they were just pups. Mary Withrow was one of two Pittsburgh volunteers who went along on a massive FBI raid in four southern states back in August. They rescued 367 dogs that day. Five just arrived in Pittsburgh after their owner surrendered them. And we're really excited because they have lived the ultimate life of cruelty being part of a dog fighting ring. In the United States, there's over 40,000 organized dog fighting rings. And by that, I mean you know, websites, um, lots of selling of dogs, big, big betting. So there's a lot of money involved. There are two pit bulls and three blue tick coon hounds, a popular breed for southern dog fighting organizations. Under quarantine and in seclusion for now, soon they'll be ready for adoption. So in a sense, rescued twice. For me, having worked on the raid and seeing them that day, and now having them here with me in Pittsburgh and giving them the chance to be able to put them into good homes, it's, it's a great day for them, it's a great day for me, and it's a great day for the Animal Rescue League. The Rescue League has actually been doing this for a couple of years now. They have placed 30 dogs in new homes so far. We have all kinds of information on the Rescue League and how to adopt on our website at kdka.com. For now, reporting live, Kim Gable, KDKA TV News.